here we are with the, with the pomegranates, the new sound of music. The pomegranates uh, came to us in 2008 or 2007? 2007. It was 2007, summer of 2007. It was uh, in, between, in between fire. Uh, our, and uh, they were still one of the best projects that I've ever been involved with my years at Sound of Music, and I am so grateful and glad to have them back. This time around for your fourth album? Yeah, four. Yeah. Um, album number four, which does, doesn't have a name. No. We, we have a few that we're, I think we have one that we're pretty happy with, but... but that's unnecessary, but that's unnecessary knowledge, because it doesn't have a name. And so what do you think? Good. What do you think of the studio? It's awesome. Very awesome. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> Not like the everything from just like the the character of the building itself, right, down to the space and like the way the rooms are laid out. Like everything feels. I mean, to the lounge in the basement, like everything feels homey yeah. and like you know warm and comfortable and inviting and just like uh, I mean it's inspiring. Like the the live room is killer. Like you know. Yes. How do you feel about the drums in that that big room in the front? Sounded pretty. Jake of the pomegranates. How do you feel about that? It sounded pretty good. It's nice to have sort of an endless ceiling in yeah. that room. You get a lot of. It's pretty versatile for being as open, wide open as it is. So, Kurt, you're the newbie. Yeah. Um, so, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where do you come from? Well, I live in Cincinnati. I currently live with uh, Isaac and Jake. Um, and is it a band house over there? Is it just like a party house? I'm going to party. It's not really a party house. So. We have chickens. <laughs> you guys have chickens? <laughs> that sounds like a party right there. This it sounds really, really interesting. So you guys have a compound and you have a chicken. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about this. <laughs> um, it's more of a community house. Than, yeah. Yeah. Just half the people in the house play in pomegranates and half of them don't. And the ones that don't, don't mind the pomegranates? No. We don't practice. Tolerate the we, don't, we don't practice there. Oh. Practice two houses away. <laughs> two houses, about 100 feet away in another house. <laughs> so um, did you, were you in a band when you lived in the house? No. Or, like, I first or, or were you one of the people that weren't in the pomegranates living in the house and then became a pomegranate? Uh, I'm looking for the story. I we've known each other for four or five years, probably since they became a band. Pretty much, yeah. We met very soon after. We played one of our very first shows with the old band. Awesome. Yeah. Name of your old band? Uh, at that time, was it the secondary? Yeah. And they became that new. We still have stuff available on the records, which is all worth listening to. But then, how do you meet up with Chad? How does Chad bring to this? Chad is just our guest this. engineer. <laughs> yeah, he was, he's just sort of this like um, really magical presence in Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky. Who uh, um, I kind of did some work with him, and then he started. I can let Chad tell. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, well, I mean, Joey and I worked on his solo stuff first, and that was like one of my first times like working with anyone other than myself on anything. So um, that was like an awesome experience. And then actually, Kurt and uh, his band and we did a recording their their uh, second EP with me, and um, it was just kind of like right away just getting thrown in right into this insane music scene. And so ever since like that was like two and a half years ago, two years ago, and. Um, just kind of been doing work around Cincinnati and we've been friends and definitely like close friends with all these guys. So in Cincinnati is it a is it a music scene that you do you record a lot of the bands that are say involved in your music scene or the music scene that you're involved with? Um, Meaning is there an indie what is yeah, well, like there, in there's Cincinnati the, I, and are you recording those bands? I feel like there is like a Cincinnati sound. It's funny because like I've Recorded a lot of the stuff that like, past pomegranate members too, like um, Carl that used to be in pomegranates when he, he was yeah, here. I worked with him on his 
solo stuff, and then there's uh, Josh, who is around for the second record. And, um, yeah, now you guys, do you have a revolving yeah, door of policy? Well, because I've met a couple of people different than I would suspect that even more change right. than even me. Right. Maybe there's one. Yeah, there's one. one, yeah. So, there is definitely like a similar sound going around somewhat uh, pomegranates, and there's also there's, there's a younger generation that's like modeling themselves after pomegranates and that's and we look for, for yeah, so like a better word. And like, it, it's, it's really interesting, it's cool that kids are looking up to them and writing new music too, so. I must be a big kid. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. So we get this project done and tracked this week. What a, what a, what's the schedule for mixing? And then possible release. What should we be looking at? Um, I will be heading back to Cincinnati to start mixing almost immediately. Almost immediately. Yeah, very, very much immediately. <laughs> and, uh, so hopefully within early August we have a final mix going for everything. Well, that's, that's unexpected. Yeah. I didn't think it was like that. Be waiting. I, I think we're 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 August. I mean, it's July now, right? Yeah. At the end of it. That's the plan, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Things are happening. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, that's it. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll take the record, those mixes, and then just kind of show them to certain people who we think might have an interest in helping us grow and develop, be able to believe in our music, and we'll see right. what happens from there. Dude. Just so, uh, back to the record and the songwriting elements of it. Isaac, Joey, are you taking the major roles in this, the London McCartney role? No, we've, it's very collective. But like, it, we've been doing, on the last record in this one, there are songs that will, that will be more like a song that Joey writes or something that I write and kind of take it. Now that people give input, but it is more like, that person's song. That person's song. But then, and not that like no one else gets any say in it. But otherwise, most of the full band songs are pretty. Everyone writes. Set so like, yeah, definitely yeah. very collective and democratic. Are some any of these songs? I I noticed. I heard you say during the tracking session some of these songs were written a week ago. Some of these songs. We said, yeah, um, one of them was written over a year ago, and then one of them. Was written. Like, was Some of them are being written. Yeah, it's written. Now. Yeah. 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 There's some more to do. Yeah. I guess like when we actually scheduled this time to record, we had like maybe like half the album written. So, and then in between that time, we like wrote more and more. So, it's, yeah. It, is, it, is, it has been feeling a little like rushed or kind of down to the wire the past past couple of uh, months. It, it seems like we were trying to be a little bit more like let's just write songs and go with them and not like trying to over analyze them. Mm -hmm. And so when you have like this is when we're going, it's like you have okay, you have this amount of time to get it done. So you just you're almost kind of we're forcing ourselves to go with our first. So then, like, yeah. the big At the end of June, album. you guys were saying, man, we got to write an album. And here you are. Yes, that is what we were saying. <laughs> <laughs> also, aren't we supposed to write an album, guys? I think also kind of like in the hopes to capture some of the energy that maybe comes with the first record. I remember the first time we were here a few years ago. So what about this? It was like, you know, there was like a lot of, uh, it was like a lot of excitement. It was like, you know, like the first batch of songs we'd written. You know, it was like it was just like fresh and exciting for us. And um, the last record we did in Cincinnati uh, was, you know, we really some of the songs we, we would spend like months on one song, like writing it, and like uh, like being very very, you know, intentional and like careful and selective. Ridiculous. Yeah, with the writing process. And then the singing, sixty forty. Joey Isaac. Yeah, it's like it's, it's half fish. 
And then on the, we're gonna have some three part harmonies on this record. If That's exciting. Like never done before with Kurt. So Kurt brings a, a powerful bar baritone. <laughs> yeah. Baritone. Uh, I think Kurt, Second Isaac, Kurt and Isaac probably sang and sing in a pretty similar range. No, so. Everybody stand up so we can see the size. I mean, this guy's a big guy. <laughs> Imagine him in your three-part army. Hello. <laughs> That's a good one. It's going to be good. What are you going to listen to? Join in. Join in. All right. The future. What do you want people to see about the pomegranates? Um, Outside of working really hard to become as visible as possible to the world. Hopefully, people see our beautiful hair. Your beautiful hair. <laughs> Which is, it is beautiful. I'm envious. I wonder why. Um, <laughs> yeah, just like I think, just the people, hopefully just people will kind of see love, I guess, is yeah. the word for it. It's kind of the big, the big picture of pomegranates. But you got to share with them. I and mean, it is definitely something that they would be interested in. So. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah. All right. Thanks. This